Well, David, a 1 1 draw away at Torquay. Um, incident filled, <coughs> but given how we ended the game with 10 men, uh, how, how would you sum that up? I'm, I'm dis uh, obviously, if you want to take it before, before the sending off and after, I, I think we're going to go on and win the game. I, I, I thought we was really, really good today, um, Joe, but you, you, you can't be disappointed having 10 men for 25, 30 minutes, was it? I don't know, 25 minutes. Seemed, seemed like an eternity at the end. Uh, and 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 be disappointed with a draw away at a team that's fifth or sixth before the game, were they? Um, uh, fifth, I believe. Fifth. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're just not getting we're not getting what we deserve out of, out of football matches at the minute. Um, and, and and today was another one. How frustrating was it with their first goal? Oh. Sec yeah, seconds before we were one on one with a keeper. That's that's sort of. You know, in a in a thirty second period of play, that sort of summed up our, our season so far, Joe. It's mm. an unbelievable bit of football and play, and and we should take the lead. The other end, we have a Geo on a one on one, and and Sean there, if Geo decided to square it, um, which he didn't at one end, and then they clear the ball and from nothing, you know, they they basically clear it and. And, and they end up scoring a goal from from absolutely nothing. Um, two like mistakes that are preventable from us, and 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 we go one nil down. And and that, like I say, has sort of summed up our season so far. But we got straight back on the horse, and and then scored a brilliant goal with from from Zane Banton. And and as I say, it at that point in time it looked like there was only going to be one winner and obviously it's you know I mean I couldn't see I'm right over the other side I'm having a little bit of banter with their with their fans um, I, I couldn't tell that it was an elbow I, I, Zane's not that sort of boy it definitely wouldn't have been a malicious one if it is and 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 now now we're missing Zane for three games as well it's you know but yeah, no, as you say, the, the, resp the response from the team after going down was really good. They looked really aggressive. We was really comfortable throughout that first 65 minutes. Yeah. Without, without being great, I mean, we should have took the lead. Uh, the, the guy makes an unbelievable block on the line from Sean from our one really good bit of play in the first half, and, and it was a good bit of play. Um, yeah, just one of that, like, again, one of those chances. Like, how, how, does he, how does he block that from Sean? Zach, Sean... Sean comes short, Zane runs beyond, a great pass from Alfie, brilliant from Zane, goes around the keeper, squares it to Sean, Sean... Clear off the line. Yeah, yeah. Very... 99 out of 100, the guy doesn't get back and clear that, but, mm. but he does, he does, but that's sort of how it's going for us at the minute. And, and other than that, without, like I say, without creating loads of chances, we was very, very comfortable today, uh, you know, from... The first two thirds of the pitch, especially the first half. Second half, we looked like we was starting to penetrate a little bit more, and and the game, the game changes. It, uh, but to 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 look after that point that we had with 25 minutes against a a, a really good side like Torquay, um, like you say, who are fifth in the table. Yeah. You know, I, I can't be disappointed as. As much as we need the points, you you you've got to look at the game in 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 this, the games in the situation you're in, and and I, and I suppose that's a good point today in the end. Yeah, and on that, like it, we, we've had two, a couple of clean, clean sheets in a row. Yeah. Um, and now three games in a row without defeat. Yeah. Like, do you think things there's signs things might slowly be starting to turn? Maybe? Yeah. Uh, listen, that, there, there's been signs throughout the whole season with performances, with performances, but you've got to put the result with it. And like I say, it's difficult for us to get out of the spell at the minute because as people know in football, you, you're winning games of football, it seems to be easy and the next one just keeps rolling on and you keep winning. And But the, the, the same is true when you're losing. Um, things just don't seem to be going your way. And But, but like you say, three games without defeat, two clean sheets, um, two... two Two good points, Western and, and, and Torquay, teams that are flying high. Western had won five games in a row before we played them. Torquay a fifth. 
really good signs without without getting the three points but like you say Joe really yeah. really good signs I, I'm proud I'm proud of what our players done today and especially given like looking around like these are surroundings more befitting of like the football league I would say would, would you not like yeah, of course this is you know Torquay will face that this season because everybody l is going to love coming here it's mm. if, if if you're one of the you've got the got the best pitch probably Bar Boreham Wood teams are going to love coming to play at it. a lovely stadium loads of fans who make a lot of noise and are passionate about their football club but that that's you know I I love playing in those atmospheres and hostile crowd just just crowds as a footballer you want to play in the best places Torquay at our level is certainly one of those yeah and um and just lastly it was important really to hang on to that point we had yeah. a small band of traveling fans it's important for them that we we held them just to give them something to go home with, I suppose. Listen, yeah. you exactly right, mm. Joe. It, I said to the boys in there, imagine <laughs> we've got that four and a half, five hour trip back with having just conceded a, a late goal after the circumstances of the game would have been hard to take. And especially uh, for those fans, a safe trip back. I'm, I'm so thankful for their support at times there today. You know, that's that, that's all we could hear until the second half the, the Torquay faithful started getting right behind them with 10 men and it was you know you, you, you've seen it many times in football with the crowd seemed to suck the ball into that goal but we were strong today strong yeah. thanks for your time David no problem